Creality sent me the Zira M4 for testing and I thought why not print a huge project with it. After all, it has a huge print bed. So after some consideration, I've decided to print the legendary Maui fish hook. Life size and out of glowing filament. But before I can start printing, I need a model of the fish hook of course. After a little searching, I quickly found what I was looking for. You can find the link to the model in the video description. Since I want to print the hook in life size, I have to adjust the model a bit before I can print it. I divided the hook into as few parts as possible, trying to utilize the print bed as best as I could. To be able to connect the individual parts later, I added very large pins inside. The pins provide a stable connection and make it easier to assemble. I chose PETG as the material for the pins so that the hook would be really robust in the end. For such a large object, some settings in the slicer have to be adjusted of course. The hook should be so strong that you don't have to touch or move it carefully. But of course I don't want to waste filament either. That's why I chose 3 to 4 walls at 10 to 20% infill. I printed the handle from wood filament. The prints went completely smooth. However, on the first part made from glow in the dark filament, strange printing errors occurred at the end of the print. It had to be due to wear and tear since the error wasn't at the beginning of the print. A quick look at the nozzle revealed the extent of the disaster. The glow in the dark filament is obviously very abrasive and simply rubbed off the soft standard nozzle. So I directly ordered a hardened steel nozzle and two days later the project went on. With the new nozzle, the remaining parts of glow in the dark filaments were no longer a problem. In total I used 5 kilograms of filament and the printer worked for over 130 hours. In the end I just had to put together all the parts and glue them together. The result is pretty cool I think and it's really huge. And this is how it glows in the dark. For the strong glowing effect you see in the picture, I put it outside in the direct sunlight for about one minute. But even without direct sunlight the effect is very noticeable. And don't forget to like the video if you think the hook didn't turn out too bad. And if you want to learn more about the CRM4, I have a link in the video description to my detailed review on my website. I at least had a lot of fun with it. But it's also suitable for anyone who wants to use it to print more than just huge movie props. It is super stable, has powerful stepper motors, many expert settings like an automatic PID tuning and some features that make it interesting for professional use as well.